Last pick. Towers of Doom. Wish I could have supported that Vala, that last game, actually. Cool. Gabe plays Garrosh, and we have Azul'jin ready to go. It might be a little deep for Uther, so maybe I'll get to play something else. But I do like my Zul'jin Uther. I like Garrosh tosses into my Uther. Those are all good things. Hmm. Naturally. Okay, cool. Same business. Into an ETC. Interesting. Wouldn't mind it, though. I'm sure Dingo Man would love it. Want to play. Looks like in those words his teeth are a little mobile. Maybe. I hear the call. Nazebo. As there are many. But now that we're not seeing him at all in HGC, it really does feel like a Hero League phenomenon to be fighting Nazebos 24-7. And a Li Ming. Huh. I guess the good news with leading with an ETC here is that they don't have any counter picks to it. And they will have to spend those to either get that. Okay, he wants to be aggressive in their faces. Cool. Let's see. Dormora. Good kaiju name. Anti mage. Yeah, yeah. Could be a bright wing. Tassadar. More damage wouldn't be bad either. Can't take care of both of you, though. I may want to switch if that's the case, then. Gotta take care of two instead of just one. Hmm. Yeah, Lunar, I guess, is a bit of an anti mage. Greater spell shield. Wow, gray main, huh? Huh. Didn't expect that. So they're going to definitely be single tank, single support then. And who are they going to get here? Is it my Uther? It'd be kind of surprising. It is my Uther. Okay. Looks like we get to bring out the Rhaegar today. Should I do Ku? We have such a good little... Pylon team. I heed the voice of Elun. I will fight to my last breath. I might bloodlust this. With a Diablo stitches, Zuljin, Taronda. Just run into their back line. Start making a mess. Problem with that would be that Uther could go Divine Storm. But I think that leaves them pretty vulnerable. To our double support business. Hmm, you gotta wonder if it's this late in the season if these are all ooh, Smurfs. I didn't know that was a thing. That's a nice little Halloween thingamabob. What I need is portraits that I can lock to certain heroes. I've, there's so many good portraits now. It's hard to decide. It's a good little picture too. Space Leoric. Growling like some sort of Dark Souls boss. Starcraft 2 is good as well. You know, so many choices. Too many choices. Cool. So we don't get the follow-ups done, but we have a Diablo Stitches to Ronda. 
Sadly, my slow probably won't count for much, which means at least I can be aggressive with it. Soldiers of the cold dark, obey the call of Kel'Thuzad. Wow them with my ability to dance and transform at the same time. I will certainly be going lightning bond here with all this melee dive business we're doing. It's still Uther Muradin though, with a gray main, so I think this could hurt a lot if our tanks are a little too forward focused to both of them. Someone's gonna have to come back and grab somebody else. Still going bottom. Zuljin go. heading to. Alright. <laughs> I'm still heading bottom. Okay. We'll head top, then. Is Haymaker better than Avatar? I would say no in a Hero League sense, just for readability. But if you have something sweet to combo into, like a Diva Bomb or something like that, there's lots of executable things you can do with a Haymaker, but I don't think your team will be more happy to see it. Like we got a cap top. Show the Raven Lord the extent of my power. Understood. Still off. No Taronda. Dancing around. That had no meaning. Nice eat though, Gabe. Alright. We're alright. Didn't want a Rhaegar without a Lucio. Yeah, they took my Uther. So I did... I did go with it because of the gray main. I was in the last pick, and then they added a Muradin on top of it. The gray main stops me from stew coving, so I ended up on Rhaegar. And I, I still agree. I think Lucio makes things way easier. And I don't know his mana the best yet, which is my biggest concern. But as long as I don't have to Ancestral... I think I'm good. That's really the part of Rhaegar I haven't figured out quite yet. Well done, my allies. My spell shield. What was that? Good enough. Not long now. 
surprisingly deep engaged. Ready yourself. We must claim them first. Choose some talent. Ways off. He's gonna grab his well. Oh, Diablo died. To Let's minions. Go. The altars stand ready. Capture them before the Raven Lord's pawns do. Meet your doom. Oh, I didn't get it off. And that's a reset for Li Ming. No one can poke him. Poke the back. Okay. Another set for Li Ming, though. How we doing on... The numbers are okay. Those are okay. Let's see. Li Ming. It's all Zul'jin for the carry home. Which means we need to go to 10. Let's see. Where is he going with it? Looks like it is going to be... Okay. Hmm. I smell their fear. Let's see what you've got. I think we look really good at 10. Now we just gotta get there. They're pretty split. There goes Diablo again. Feel the ground tremble. Zul'jin. All right, what did Zul'jin pick? What do we got? He is guillotine. Oh, the reset. Oh, I killed this all. Okay, they got top. I did explode, though. Get him over the wall. Okay. Safe wager. Okay, let's get some stuff. I need to put my butt fight out first. The safe wager. Here comes Joe Uther. Mangonia Can we kill Hatch. Uther? Keep fighting. Just wanted to keep. I wanted to survive. I just wanted to survive. 
but we're gonna split for 13. Okay, no tunnel, but I'm up in time. So are they. Let's cool down on this guy. 100 seconds, jeez. Just need to use it. Choose a talent. Okay, there we go. Nice. These mercenaries will fight for us or die. I do not like how much I'm dying, but it's a very high damage team, and luckily I got Lee Ming out of there. My lack of understanding with this much burst is what's making this more difficult. And that's on me, and this is a fantastic learning opportunity. I feel like I should go hang out with Diablo. Gotta bite those bugs. This is bottom for quite a while. If they can get that Nazebo, that'd be fantastic. Looks like they got him. Okay. Diablo gets. We can do this. I want to like Rising Storm, but I feel like I can't track its damage, and maybe that's the only problem with it. <laughs> it's just hard to tell if it's helping, or if something else would be more valuable. Keeping the Zeebs going, and that Zeebs is gonna hit like a truck. Alright, well, we do have a couple. Yep. Muradin Haymaker. Uh-oh, there. Look right on. Bummer. I must hear. Oh, we lost both tanks. Should be an okay time for it, though. I smell I want Ancestral to have global range. 
Sisters, watch over you. They're down gray main though. I thank you. It's Diablo. I like Storm Shield. Oof, that would have been good. I agree. We should pick fights. They are way off from 20. Winds guide my path. There's an owl. Ooh, that could go wrong. Oh, nope. Never mind. It didn't. All the gargantuan damage that comes out with that. It's in the bottom. Two dead for a whole minute. So the wind conditions, Li Ming. I think good is the correct word. We did good. GG! <laughs> the army of the damned marches onward. MVP. Then he got MVP. But I, I mean, that's only because it's like constant. <laughs> oh, so he was soaking. That's what he was up to. Naturally. Whatever. It's all good. We just wanted them to come together a little bit more. That's all. Oh. A Rhaegar. First Hero League Rhaegar win. All right. Lots to learn. Lots. Lots to learn still. Not a straight Uther replacement by any means. Out healed them though quite a bit. Same number of deaths. What did our enemy Uther do? We don't see too many Uthers but me anymore. Hammer of Justice slow. Interesting. Guardian. Well met. Heroes just as 25% movement speed. Increases Uther's movement speed. Oh, three seconds, three seconds. Interesting. They didn't have a second support. 
Allies healed by Holy Radiance receive 40% increased healing from all sources. Hmm. Oh. I don't know why you wouldn't want redemption. Li Ming had some good moves, though. My my stick aroundiness is what cost us pretty close there. <laughs> 